Hey Cancer, this is Soul Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Cancer, this is going to be your general weekly focus reading for the week of May 2nd through May 8th, 2016. Before I begin your reading, uh, Cancer, I do want to express that I'm trying something completely different in terms of how I'm reading. Uh, this may not be something that I do um, in moving out. Uh, but I just want to break my own stagnation and monotony in doing these weekly and monthly readings. Changing my energy up a little bit. Okay, so for you, Cancer, what I've done for the other signs that I've read for so far, uh, I'm using two decks where I'm using 22 majors from one deck and then the minors from another deck. Just to see what kind of feel and energy that I get in terms of the reading and the messages that come forth. All right, for some cancers that I'm reading for uh, this upcoming week, you have the potential of dealing with uh, the magician in the reverse. Of course, this is a major arcana. So, with it being in the reverse, I just feel that some cancers may be going in the week feeling like they don't have all the necessary, you know, tools to achieve either their goals or manifest the things that they want. Uh, or wish to bring you know their way uh, it's the lack thereof okay in the upright the ma magician is all about having everything necessary to achieve uh, your goals to manifest them and bring those things to you okay in the reverse I'm getting past energy now uh, messages related to uh, possibly overcoming for the cancers that I'm reading of dealing with an individual um, who may have disrespected you. I'm just getting someone may have disrespected you. Uh, I always relate the magician with this energy of someone being reckless, um, self-serving, doesn't give a damn about how they, you know, their actions come across to you. Uh, but because it's in the reverse and you showing up for you this week is cancer's overcoming having to deal with a reckless individual. Possible uh, bipolar individual as well uh, could be narcissistic okay uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on that uh, but I just feel that it's overcoming having to deal with a reckless individual in cancer's life whether it's a relationship friendship someone in the family or dealing with somebody uh, who may have come across as being a complete asshole on the job okay recent past yesterday going back to two weeks to cancer we now have the three of cups uh, in the reverse as well. So, Cancers overcoming some sort of emotional disappointment. Again, since it's this next to this magician card, maybe this is why I'm getting this energy or the message. Overcoming some sort of emotional disappointment related to um, possibly a relationship. Also, too, I'm getting that there may have been some sort of uh, celebrating going on with family and friends, and this could also result and hangovers for some cancers. I just see a lot of drinking that may have taken place within uh, the past two weeks. Yesterday going back to two weeks. Uh, so since it is in the passing, so it's an event that already take, took place. Um, possibly cancers drinking uh, heavily and hungover. And then the Three of Cups rep represents a strangulation. So it could be the cancers that I'm reading for involved in a uh, love triangulation uh, Involving another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. It could be the energy towards that individual that brought on some sort of emotional disappointment or upsets. Or it could be from the individual towards you. Somebody was very um, unhappy uh, in terms of a relationship I'm getting for Cancer. But the emphasis is that it's in the passing so whatever it is if you're still involved with the individual it may have been just you know um a temporary thing and now it's you know whatever was resolved or you know you you're moving past that energy um you know like i said i'm not judging jewelry when it comes to these strangulations and whatnot but i just see that for some cancers that i'm reading for um was not a happy camper involving a relationship definitely a relationship okay that relationship may be because now i'm moving into the middle of the week in the energy we have the knight of wands in the uh, reverse position so not only am i picking up water energy it could be that 
some of my cancers that I'm reading for were upset because of a fire sign. Um, the Knight of Wands is in the reverse, and it's usually the knight in shining armor for me. But it's in the reverse, so it could have been, you know, could be some unsettling stuff going on with a fire sign just from the past. But in the middle of the week, some of you are still dealing with this energy. Or if it's the fire sign that I'm picking up in terms of relationship, uh, then this fire sign is still unsettling to the cancer. They're just doing something that's either not sitting too well with the cancer or, you know, pissing the cancer off and just not in a good way. Before I even, excuse me, before I even finish your reading cancer, this is a, this is definitely a relationship reading uh, because we have the knight of wands in the reverse and now we have the a page of wands in the reverse. So this is about a relationship since the court cards, it's about two people in the reverse. So there's something going on for the cancers that I'm reading uh, for that are dealing with a relationship involving a fire sign. Also, the page shows up. It could be for outside of the relationship dealing with fire sign children. That's unsettling as well. Uh, on these cards, because these cards have words on them, and, and I like to read the cards. So, with this Knight of Wands, a uh, Cancer, this um, <clears throat> the word activity. So it may be that there's something going on in terms of decreased activity related to a relationship that's brought on some sort of a emotional disappointment or upsets in the recent past. This magician showing up, overcoming, having to deal with somebody who was reckless. Either in a relationship family situation job situation i'm just getting a lot of messages here and it's all relationship oriented whether it's friendship relationship is just something unsettling um that has taken place in the past moving forward the energy is still somewhat lingering even though the three of cups uh is in the passing position something brought something i'm sorry something brought some sort of emotional unhappiness for some of the crabs that I'm reading for. And this very well may be related to the children with the page. And this on this card is about creativity. So I'm not getting and could be the lack of creativity too for the cancers who are artistic this upcoming week. So let me just throw that in there, but I'm getting uh, more emphasis on uh relationships. I don't recall what I said for you for your um May relationship but uh, this might be just continued energy but I'm getting a lot of fire so they you may be dealing with fire but you may not be they could just have fire in their uh, their birth chart so maybe children you're dealing with a fire sign child that's unsettling And this Knight of Wands is definitely um, I don't know. Let me just say if cancer was the cancers that I'm reading for who may have tried to end the relationship with a fire sign and the fire sign is not going anywhere. So that's another message that I'm getting. So I'm going to have to throw it out there. Okay, so, yeah. All right, so this is your reading, Cancer. Um, again, I wanted to try something different. And I hope that it resonates with some of you, but if it doesn't, it's okay. Um, I just wanted to try something completely different, just to change my own energy. Anyway, so this is your reading. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. I do want to wish you all a very uh, safe upcoming week ahead. Until the next time, Cancer, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.